Sadly, this one was a fail too. We have tried a lot of resources for our daughter's third grade year, and some were amazing, and some were not so amazing, and actually some we hardly, sadly, didn't get to. I'm finally getting around to putting this video together because honestly, we or she was still getting through a lot of her resources over the summer. We are now in our 10th year of homeschooling. And if you're new here, my name is Yuri, and I like to share about homeschooling, read alouds, traveling videos, just the crazy thoughts that this working homeschooling mama has to share, and just pretty much everything in between. If any of those things actually interest you, we would love it if you came along and joined in our journey by subscribing. That will really encourage us to keep making these videos and keep this channel going. And please don't hesitate to like this video so that we can get this video out to more people so that it can help and encourage others as well. Let's get right into our hits and misses for our 2023-2024 third grade school year. I'm going to start with language arts. So this past school year, we had used CLE's Language Arts Level 3, and I have to say it has probably, it is probably the most comprehensive and most foundational of our resources that we had tackled this year, or this past school year. And it pretty much includes everything you need that pertains to language arts, which would include grammar, writing, spelling, cursive handwriting, and some vocabulary as well. Our daughter does great with this program, and pretty much CLE is going to make your kids very independent. So CLE's Language Arts Level 3 comes with 10 workbooks, which CLE calls light units. So she would easily, just on her own, take each workbook and get through them on her own. However, there are a lot of light units, and it does take quite a bit of time because each lesson has about four to five pages of language arts materials. And right now she is on light unit nine of the 10, but she is chugging along and she is continuing to work through all 10 of them even right now. Other than the fact that there's a lot to get through, we're gonna say that this one is a big win. And honestly, if you can't get through all 10 of the light units, it's okay you're gonna get a solid language arts education through CLE. So we're gonna move on to reading. And with reading, we also use CLE. We went with CLE's level three, and just like the language arts, the CLE level, level three comes with 10 bite-sized workbooks or light units. Our daughter spent the entire summer getting through the 10 light units, but she did it. She really enjoyed the stories from the reader. It's a great reading program and has made our kids really strong in reading comprehension. And just like the language arts, this one is a hit. I also was trying to squeeze in Critical Thinking Company's Reading Detective for uh, the one that the beginning level that is intended for grades three to four, because I knew that it would be a good program to get a solid understanding of reading comprehension. But at the same time, I also knew that I was putting a lot on her plate. So I'm not surprised that she didn't get too far in the Reading Detective program because she also already had the CLE's reading program. But I was very curious to finding out how the Reading Detective and the CLE's reading program compared because of all, because of all the great reviews about Reading Detective. So I can't say whether this resource was a hit or miss because she pretty much didn't really get to this program. But she's using it right now, so stay tuned for the review I'll have for next year. For vocabulary, we went with the Critical Thinking Company's Word Roots Beginning Level. The idea behind learning the different parts of a word and understanding what they mean, basically dissecting the word into their prefixes, root word, and their suffixes, made a lot of sense to me and seemed like a fun idea but our daughter didn't enjoy it. She especially didn't like having to piece all the parts together, especially the suffixes, because once you even put all the pieces together, a lot of the words had the same meaning. And I totally understand because I was trying to help our kids 
worth of this resource and it was confusing even for me and even after you get all the pieces together sometimes it's hard to figure out what the meaning of the words actually were and and unfortunately the program doesn't really give you a clear definition of the words all the time but i still find value in learning all the different parts of a word from their latin and greek origins and especially the prefixes but because our daughter did not enjoy this program and she wasn't retaining the material very well. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to say that this resource was a fail. For writing, we started out trying IEW's Bible Heroes in order to get our daughter used to how IEW's structure and style works. But we didn't get too far into the program because it does require a lot of my one-on-one -on -one attention. And with the juggle with all the activities that we were doing and with the toddlers that we had at the time, we were just not getting to this resource, unfortunately. So we decided we'll try the Structure and Style Level 1A because there are vid video lessons that come with the program. So it's not me just teaching about how to write, but it's Mr. Andrew Pudawa, who is the founder of the IEW program, teaching the kids. And at first it went really well. And I think she was getting it and grasping the concepts of how to write papers based on how IEW does their structure and style. But we also were lagging a little bit behind because of the busyness that we had during the school year. And the video lessons are entertaining. However, they are quite long. They can be an hour to an hour and a half long. And we would pretty much speed up the videos, but still it would be just a little bit challenging to get through them in a reasonable time. So we put it on hold for a while, but I'm not gonna say that this one is a miss or a fail because I do find value in the IEW program. And I think in the season that we were in, it just wasn't working. We also tried Night Zookeeper during the school year. And our kids really enjoyed using this program because it helps to hone some of those language arts skills like spelling, vocabulary, writing, and even typing as you're typing your paper. But we weren't using it often enough because it wasn't our primary resource for language arts. However, I do hear of some families using Night Zookeeper primarily for their language arts curriculum. But since we were just using it as a supplement, it kind of got neglected. But our kids did really enjoy it. So I would say that if we were consistently using the Night Zookeeper program, then it would be considered a hit. For copy work, I thought it would be a fun idea to copy the history sentences from our Classical Conversations memory work. It was going pretty well in the beginning, but we kind of slacked off. And CLE already includes handwriting, so that could almost be counted as copy work anyway. So I'm going to have to say that Trying to copy the history sentences for the classical conversations wasn't working out for our family, and I'm gonna have to say it was a miss. For typing, we went with the Good and the Beautiful's Typing Level 1. Our daughter started out doing a pretty good job with the program, but she did share with me that it was quite boring for her. So rather than going with an actual program, we just had her type just whenever she was on the laptop or when she was on Night, Night Zookeeper and she was able to get some typing skills that way. So unfortunately for this past school year, the Good and the Beautiful's typing level one was another fail. Our daughter really wanted to do another map workbook, so we went with the Scholastic's Maps for Today, grade three. She didn't find this one as fun as the previous Scholastic resource that we went through. The pages were really full of words and they weren't as inviting. So sadly, this one turned out to be a fail, especially since our daughter was really enjoying doing a map workbook. For math, we went with Singapore Maths Level 4, and our daughter zoomed right through it. We love how Singapore Math trains the child to use mental math and also brings in real-life scenarios in their math problems. So we would say that Singapore Math was a hit again. For science, we went with Berean Builders, Science in the Ancient World. And we really enjoyed this one, especially for the experiments. 
the experiments are really easy to follow and the materials are easy to attain and honestly you probably have most all of the resources all the materials lying around somewhere in your house we also enjoyed how the text is written to the child you're going to learn how science has evolved over time whether they got things right or whether they got things wrong and thirdly we like how science and history are brought together so we're going to give Berean builders science in the ancient world a definite win or a hit for history we started out with knock grasses from Adam to us, but for a large family with multiple ages, it just wasn't working. So we went back to what we were used to using, which was the mystery of history. And we picked up where we left off, which was in the middle ages. So we have to say that from Adam to us is a fail if you're going to use it for the entire family that has a wide range of ages, at least for our family. And if you're interested in hearing more of our thoughts on the program in a thorough flip through. I, I'll have a video link down below in the description box so that you can check it out. Sadly, there were a lot of fails for our third grade year this past school year, but that's homeschooling for you. What didn't work this year may actually work next year. And what didn't work for one child may actually work for another child. And what we dreaded one year may actually be fun another year. But overall, I would have to say, and she would have to say that she had a great third grade year. She grew so much in her independence and also figuring out what she enjoys and what she doesn't enjoy. She already had a lot of things that were going on, including several sports. We've changed it up quite a bit this fourth grade school year. So make sure to check out, check out that video. I'm going to have linked down below. Don't forget to like this video if you'd like to see more like these. Comment down below if anything has resonated with you. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We would love to have you follow along. I know your time is valuable, so thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you have a peaceful day and catch you in the next video.